guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because this is going to be my first Project Ten Pan update. And I filmed this, uh, the original video on December 29th, and today is January 11th, so it's been, I think, one or two days short of two weeks, but I, um, had time to film today, so this is when you're getting your update. Um, anyway, so let's get started. Um, my first product is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And I have been using this almost every day. Um, I may have forgotten a few times, but this is how much is left in there. Um, there's not really a good way to mark this, but I, there's less than there was last time. I don't know how much less, but yeah, you can see that. Maybe I'll try to take a photo. I think what I'll do is I'll try to take photos and then I can insert what they used to look like, but this one's just kind of a hard one to see into. So number two is my Benefit Hula Deluxe Sample. And this was a rollover from my first Project Ten Pan as well. And this is what it looks like right now. I just watched my old video to see if there was any progress, and you can kind of definitely see that the pan is bigger over on this side. But, um, and on the side here, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's definitely lower on this side. Last time it was almost up to the top right here. So, yeah, so I've been making good progress, but I still think this will be around for a while. I think I will, rep I mentioned I might repress this in my last video, and I think I will do that soon just because it's so hard to get it because it's just really skinny all around the sides. So next week it might look different, but I'll try to take a photo, um, after I do that. Number three is also a rollover from my last project in band, and that's my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creamy Beige. And I haven't been using this every single day. Um, there was a while where I kind of kept forgetting to use it as a base, but I kind of got back in the uh, um, habit of doing that. So it doesn't look too different, I don't think, but um, it definitely, um, I don't know, that's what it looks like. So. Hopefully now that I'm back in the habit of using it uh, um, every day, we'll get some more progress before the next update. Number four is my Too Faced Bulletproof Brows in um, Universal Taupe. <laughs> and this one, I've been kind of focusing right down here on the bottom. So before it was kind of, there was a, a bigger chunk of product down here. So I'm slowly moving my way this way. So let me kind of see. So this is what's left, and it's starting to dry up a little bit, um, but I find if I kind of smooth my brush over the cracks that it kind of gets creamy again. So I think it's just kind of the top layer that gets a little bit dry, but it still works really great. So um, this is a good product, I think, but I know I've seen people complain about how it dries up, but it gets these little cracks, but it still works, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so number five is my foundation, and this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix, and I marked it um, last time, and it was up to here, and now it's down to here. So I think I made pretty good progress, and I think I'll definitely be able to finish this by April 1st. Now, number six is my Benefit uh, Their Real Push-Up Liner, and there's no really, really no way to tell how far you are on this thing, except... I'm done. <laughs> um, I used it up last week. So I was kind of surprised because I don't remember. I got this, I believe, in July as a sample right when it came out. And I did use it um, a fair amount of times, but I had no idea how much was going to be left. So I was surprised that it ran out, ran out as soon as it did. But then again, I don't really remember how much I used it before. So I'm really excited to have this done. And I don't think I would ever buy this. Um, there were days where it made it super easy to do winged liner and it looked perfect. But then there were a few times where just like little chunks of it would like fall out of the top. If you see that, um, oh see there's a chunk that didn't exist before. But um, yeah, so like this whole chunk would fall off on the ground, it made a huge mess, so annoying, and so I'm just not a fan of this. Um, when I originally tried it, I had never tried doing gel liner with a brush and that seemed really hard to me so I thought this would be easier but now that I have tried that um, I definitely don't think this is much easier if anything it's more of a pain in the butt. Okay number seven is my Urban Decay Perversion Liner and this is how long it is now um, but since that's kind of hard to tell the difference I did mark it on this little index card right here so um, when I started it was up to here and now it's down to here. So I have made a little progress even though I haven't been using this liner every single day. So um, the next two items are also on that little card and that is my Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. 
and this is how long it is now um, right that long and to show the progress I have it marked of course so um, that is right here you can see um, I started up there and now I am down there so I'm really pre pleased with that progress um, I think it's kind of hard to see the progress on lip products unless you are measuring it so I was wasn't didn't think there was going to be a lot of progress on that but I was pleasantly surprised when I marked it off and finally oh no <laughs> next I have the benefit professional and you can't really see through this tube um, I've tried but it's hard to tell with how much is in there and I do have two of these so I have been using this every day um, and that's about all I can do so when it stops coming out then I'll it'll just be a surprise I guess so that's where I am with this and then finally, I am really excited about this one. In my first project, 10 Pan, I was kind of surprised how slow it was for me to use up lip products. Um, I don't really remember to uh, reapply a lot, but I've been reapplying more. Yeah, not like to an excessive amount, but I've just been reapplying throughout the day a couple times. And um, I used up the little pointy part on the top of this. I am so excited. I have two more of these, and these used to be like the only lip products I have. Let me show them to you. So I had these two, and for a while I was carrying them around and using them all the time. And I mean, the little points have changed obviously from what they look like when you get them, but um, I still, they're still there. So I thought it was gonna take forever to get that part worn down, but I just kind of was on a roll and I don't know, all of a sudden I became a lip product user upper. So uh, anyway, so this is how much is left. It's just a deluxe sample, so there's not really that much. And I have it marked on here as well. So I started right here, there's it focusing, and now I'm down here. So I think this might be gone by the next update, which would be really super exciting because I have never used a bullet product before. So, really excited about that. So, yeah, that's all 10 items in my Project 10 Pan. I'm really pleased with the progress I have been making, even though there are a few items where it's harder to tell. Um, I'm really excited about the lip product. Um, that's really, really exciting to me. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully I can use that one up, and then I might throw in this one, which is kind of a similar shade. This one is Chunky Cherry, and maybe just try to get as far as I can with this um, by April 1st. So we'll see what the progress is in the next few weeks, but hopefully I can use that one up. Anyway, that's it for this Project 10 Fan update. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!